Okay, we're just going to carry on from the last video and I'm just going to quickly show you how to add in a uh, death animation uh, so you cannot uh, input into the game anymore and also just tidy up so that we've got a hurt animation whenever we walk into the spikes. So for this, um, I have made a hurt and a dead flipbook. So you'll want to do that uh, before you start uh, this tutorial. Again, if you don't know how to make these flipbooks, I do have previous videos on that. So I'm going to go into my character, which is in Blueprints, and I'm going to go into my event graph, and I'm just going to show you. So down here, I've got a hurt and a die switchboard, okay? But it's not leading to anything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab all these, and I'll move them down slightly, just so I can grab this and just make this a bit bigger. I'll move that to the top. I'll move this on down. So, what I want to do is when we get hurt, I want to play a certain animation. So, I'm going to just grab these set flipbook and sprite, copy and paste that by control C, control V. So whenever I'm hurt, I'm going to plug that into here and I'm going to change that to my hurt flipbook. But afterwards, I'm going to probably wait um, maybe a second or so and I'm going to return that to our idle state. So I'm going to just grab my anim states here, pull this out and oh, an actual fact if I remember in our previous video, I did set an idle um, after we'd done our health deplete. So we went through the health deplete, we called on this set idle uh, event, and that event set off back to an idle after a one second delay. So we should be okay. <clears throat> our die though, what we want to make sure is we're going to go back into this health deplete uh, function. And what I'm going to do is after we decrease our health, we're going to do a check to see if our health is equal to zero or below zero. So from this set, I'm just going to type out a uh, branch. And that branch is going to have a condition with a true and false. So the condition is going to be if um, our health, our current health, is equal to zero or below zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my health and I am going to go float is less than or equal to zero. And if that is true, we don't want to play the hurt. Okay. We only want to do that if it's false. So if that's false, we're going to keep doing the hurt animation and we're going to get forced back that type of thing if this is true so if we no longer have any health basically what I want to do is set our die animation and disable input I'm just going to compile that and test it out. So we've got our character. When it gets hit, it goes into the uh, hurt animation. And our health is decreasing. As we go along, and we finally get to the end, We've stopped, but we've not played our die animation. And that's because if we go back to our event graph, um, I have not pulled out a new flipbook for that. My input did stop, so it should work. So I'm going to get my die now, and I'm going to plug it into this. And I'm going to change that to dead. 
Uh, what I'm also going to do, I'm just going to set our character health down to 10, <clears throat> just so we don't have to go through all our health to get to the end. So if I go through this, hurt, and then die. Still not playing the die animation. Okay, so one of the things I forgot to add in here is when we go to this die anim state, um, we just pull out and I forgot we should probably update our animation in between disabling our input um, and setting the die. Otherwise, um, it really won't know to call on this function or this event as we do down here. So if I compile that, uh, save it and press play, when we jump back in, you will get that hurt uh, flipbook, but when we finally die, we've got zero health. I no longer have input, and um, the character's eyes have closed to show that he's in a die state.